Well, in Elmhurst neighborhood is in an uproar about a house now serving as a home for former addicts. It's been in violation of city code for more than a year. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Koslov explains why neighbors are fighting a zoning change that would make it okay for people to stay there. This is not your typical not in my backyard story. Folks who live on this block say they are not opposed to a recovery home in their neighborhood. They just don't like the way the city of Elmhurst or the property's owner is going about it. It's an unassuming house on a quiet Elmhurst block, except that is for this sign in front notifying neighbors of a pending conditional use permit or a zoning change, allowing it to become a so-called sober house for seven people. We actually are okay with the concept of having a sober home in our neighborhood. Says block resident Adam Smeets, but here's the but. I have issue with it being seven or eight unrelated persons living together. Currently, Elmhurst code only allows four unrelated people to live in a single family house. These neighbors want it to stay that way. But when we move into a seven plus occupancy where we are now are operating as a multi apartment complex, there are a whole host of other issues that come along with that. Issues, Smeet says, like safety and lack of recovery programs. A group called Carpenters Tools Ministry runs the home. Its president, Jay Webb, says it greatly helps recovering addicts transition back into society adding there's no drinking or drug use allowed. There's just been a lot of negative activity. But neighbors point to past problems, including a man who died of an apparent overdose and wasn't found for days as other reasons for concern. The city keeps like brushing that away. Like they were ready to speak up again this week. Our last committee meeting, the public comment period was pushed off to the end of the meeting. Which Smeets believes that's a violation of the Open Meetings Act and sent this letter to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office asking for an investigation. No one with the city of Elmhurst agreed to an on-camera interview, but the city's planner said Carpenter Tools Ministry provided the city with an abundance of information and that it plans to recommend the zoning change if seven specific conditions are met. However, Elmhurst planner did not specifically address claims that it violated the Open Meetings Act. In Elmhurst, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.